Today I'm going to be testing an epoxy resin to see how clear it is, hard it is, how long it dries, etc. Entropy Resins, they're out of California, and their product is called Super Sap Sustainable Epoxy. And that's what we're really looking for here, uh, sustainability. Plus, good properties, so super clear, non-yellowing. I'm really excited to test this stuff. This is a platter that we filled with beer bottle caps. Maybe have it sitting on the coffee table with some drinks. Kind of a nice display thing for obviously like the Super Bowl or something. So it's just a wood frame that I bought at the store, a bunch of different beer caps. It's a good sign that it took us a long time to drink this many beers, so we don't have a drinking problem. But any products that we sell on our resin are perfect for this kind of stuff. We're just trying to sell the most sustainable resin with the best characteristics. And so if you find a better one, then we find a better one. That's what we're always looking for, always. A respirator is important. I'm not going to put this on until I mix them together, start mixing them, and fumes start getting emitted. Put on my gloves. Part A resin always looks very, very similar. It's slightly cloudy, and this part doesn't yell over time. Of course, as transparent as possible, but this is what we want it to look like. Okay, so now this is part B. This is the one I'm very scared about because it's always a bit yellow. Okay, pretty good. Very good. This is definitely one of the better ones that I've seen. It's not perfect, it's not perfect. We're getting very picky, but I think we really have to be. Pretty good, but you can pick up a tiny, tiny bit of yellow. So this is part B, and this is the clearest part B hardener that I've seen. I wonder if it's so clear because they put it in the solid, opaque packaging, so no sunlight can get in it. So if it's sitting on the shelf for a couple of months and it starts to yellow, and it's in a clear container, which would be the best, then we're not there yet. So I'm gonna leave double part A as I leave to the part B. I just let it sit to test its shelf life. We'll watch it for a couple months. So I forgot to check the level. It's not bad, it's good enough. I should have moved them down. There's air bubbles underneath, so the caps are rising. So I'm just going to very tediously release the air from under each one of them. I'm going to have to do a second coat, but I'm going to wait until this one cures and then see how hard it is and see how long it takes to dry and stuff. So I'm just going to run the blowtorch over the surface and force all the bubbles up and then just let it sit. So just to summarize, this Entropy resins so far is the best resin that I've tested and I've tested a lot of different resins. I have two issues with it right now. One is that it's a two to one ratio and it's a barrier to entry. It's a reason why someone won't buy it simply because of the mixing ratio. It has to be one to one and super simple. The second issue, the part B hardener is just a tiny, 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 tiny bit yellow. Again, it's the best one that I've tested in terms of its clarity and yellowness. It is the best one. And I wonder if it's because of the opaque packaging. I'd love to be able to have clear packaging so that we can see how crystal clear it is. I think that we have something really awesome here. Cool. So I'm going to just push down the caps a bit because they're rising because I still have some air there. And then I'm just going to leave it to cure overnight. And I'll do a second coat right over top of it. I'll just wash it uh, to make sure there's no dust or anything and just pour the second coat on. Great. Also, quick note, if you live in the UK and you want some art resin, I've been chatting with Ian Clark of Ian Clark Coatings and he can get you some good product. And me and him have been talking back and forth. So if you go to Ian Clark, ask him about the art resin deal, and you'll get 5% off, and he'll know exactly what you're looking for. So hopefully that can help you get this stuff in the UK. So if you have any questions or ideas of things to test epoxy resin on, let me know. And if it sounds like fun, then we can make a video and make some art. Bye-bye. So we want to see what you're using your art resin for. Upload your images onto the art gallery at artresin.com, or just go there to get inspired by others as well. For answers to all your questions about art resining, just visit the FAQ at artresin.com, and you can buy stuff there too. So we're always making new videos. If you like, you can subscribe, and we'll see you next time.